this is a continuation of um, the process I started yesterday. The half bucket I had left from yesterday, this is muck from the base of a gold mine. And um, it's looking very promising. I made some adjustments to the table. There's a couple of wedges there and there. That changes the uh, direction of water flow. So the water flow is now more perpendicular to these grooves, which is what I actually want. And the flow rate is a little higher um, in that direction. <laughs> I've been uh, letting the material settle for about uh, 10 or 20 seconds uh, each time. So I alternate between this one and this one. And I've got it down to, you know, the muck at the bottom. There's quite a lot of uh, black stuff in there. That's number one. This is number two. There's even more stuff in there. So I'll pan those down as much as I can and uh, very carefully and show you what I got. I think I like the riffles better. This side, I don't know. have to have patience to let the really small gold settle. All right, that took a surprisingly long time to drain, like an hour uh, full of silt. So I'm going to dry this. That's what came out of the filtration process. So I just kept cranking up the temperature. I got it up to uh, 1250 Fahrenheit. Here's the dried um, and cooled starting material. That's the ore that's been uh, through the shaker table uh, or the mud that's been through the shaker table. Now, um, and it contains the stuff from today and the stuff from yesterday. I want to weigh this up. I've got uh, 66 grams of the ore. Now I'm going to mix the charge uh, for smelting. So here's the charge that's going into the crucible. The crucible's got an iron rod that helps to reduce the uh, litharge. And I found it's quite important. So, um, 66 grams of ore, I've got 250 grams of flux. That flux is uh, composed of uh, one-third borax, one-third soda ash, one-third Chapman's flux, and the Chapman's flux has got those components. And then, um, as a gathering metal, we've got litharge, which is uh, lead oxide, and we've got 12 grams of flour. And um, I use 40 grams of litharge because I've got uh, Maybor uh, cupels and they can hold 35 grams of reduced lead, which is about what we'll get out of this, uh, out of this smelt. Okay, so um, just mix everything together. I'm gonna put on my um, respirator for this.
All right, we've reached uh, 2100 Fahrenheit, so it's time to pour. Thirty five point six gram. Quite a bit of work to get a little tiny bead, huh? However, I started out, uh, you know, thinking I wouldn't get anything. So that's human nature for you, right? Anyway, I've got to get it um, out of there to weigh it. And I've learned not to try to pull it out with a pair of tweezers because it's stuck. And... Uh, you gotta first uh, dig it out or you'll you have a good chance of losing it out of here and onto here. So there it is. You can see that there's a bunch of, um, you can see a couple of things. It's nice and gold in color. I'm gonna turn on the blue light also. Yeah, kind of pretty, huh? Anyway. It's nice and golden color, and it's got a big bunch of the cupel stuck on it, um, magnesia. So the way I take care of that is I put it in um, hydrochloric acid for um, 10 or 15 minutes, and that'll take it right off. Okay, I got it into the uh, spotting plate right there. Now I'll add a little hydrochloric. Okay, there's the bottom side of the bead. All right, well, there's the tiny little bead next to the scale. <laughs> it's uh, kind of embarrassingly small. Um, I'm going to call it... Uh, <clears throat> I'll take a measurement, but you can see that it's uh, it's less than a half a millimeter in diameter. All right, I'm going to weigh that uh, little bead on this analytical balance. Get this on here without losing it. Yep. I'll let it settle. So the way I've got it uh, set up is I multiply this number by... 20 and that's um, in micrograms so I've got we'll call it uh, 0.74 
0.74 milligrams. Okay, so let's talk about how it um, all turned out. From direct measurement, I found the diameter of the bead, the volume of the bead, and the weight of the bead. From that, I can make an estimate of the uh, weight of the gold in the bead, and that turned out to be around 0.6 milligrams, a uh, tiny amount. And um, that's 80% 80, 80 uh, gold content, roughly speaking. And that's about right based on the color, I suppose, of the bead. Did we find gold in our mud? Yes, we did. Was it a lot? No, it wasn't a lot at all. And I could have thrown away, I don't know, 90% of it in the process. It's tiny, tiny little particles of gold. And I am sure I don't have a well-optimized system for um, concentrating it. So I could have thrown away 90% of it. I, I don't have any idea. Was this thing enjoyable? This process was um, immensely enjoyable. Uh, I'm not a miner, but I do love geology and I love to get out there and this was a lot of fun. I hope very much that you enjoy these kind of videos. If you do, please um, hit the like button. They say it helps. Thanks a bunch and see you next time.